the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. After they, you know, added the fruit, they hid themselves. And a lot of people run away from God because they know when they expose to God, they expose themselves. Naked. Think about it's almost like that, ain't it? You you are you are you are exposed to God. Because he's looking at your heart. And and he's telling, he's telling throughout the Bible. And that's what some people say, I'd rather be accountable to you, Brother Addison, or to somebody else opposed to God. But the theme of this message today is every one of us are accountable unto God. Is that, that, is that, that acceptable? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can, and we just want to make sure people don't, don't you can't hide, you can't, your political party ain't gonna stand up for you. It's, do you, I, I don't, I'm pretty sure they won't. <laughs> They're gonna do the same thing. Look, that whole congregation of Israel, it, it, all of them ran. <laughs> all of them said. <laughs> so you, it, what I've said to some people, y'all, is if they, if the children of Israel moved away from God and said, Moses, you talk to them. Wouldn't you think your, after, you would think your pastor, your political party, your, your mama or your daddy are gonna do when you before God and they have an opportunity to go speak on your behalf? What do you think they're gonna do? Uh, Brother Asa, you, you, you speak to God because, see, if I go speak to him, I'm gonna die. But you go speak to him because you gonna die. <laughs> you gonna die because if you don't have you don't have an advocate because I can't be your advocate. <laughs> I mean, it, it goes on today all the time <laughs> in the form of you know uh, you pray. Uh, ah, woo, woo. You know, you pray. Yeah. Pray for me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, or or Ooh. somebody pray now. I don't, I don't want to pray. You pray. I don't want to. Because we talking to. Because we know when we pray, we talking to our Creator. Yeah. We talking to our Father. I don't. I'm. I'm not close enough. I don't have a relationship with him. You know, to to <laughs> talk. Or he ain't gonna hear me. He ain't gonna hear. Ah! Oh, remember the remember the one that said this. If I go to church, the lightning gonna strike. Because oh, yeah. when I walk into the door, I'm gonna <laughs> drop dead and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all those that's all saying my relationship is so bad that he's not going to receive it the good news is he will amen yeah. look at this matter of fact this is a good example of Hebrews 10 look at the Hebrews 4 verse 10 what you got for he that is entered into his rest he also has ceased from his own works, as God did from his. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Mm. For the word of God is quick mm -hmm. and powerful. Yes, sir. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Come on now. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit. Wow. And of wow. the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts mm. and hints of the heart. Yes. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked mm. and open unto mm. the eyes of him with mm. whom we have to do. Come on. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, mm -hmm. Yeshua, the Son of God. Come on now. Come on. Hold fast our profession. Woo! That's a mouthful right there. There is. There's so much tied up in that. <laughs> There's so much wrapped up in that. Woo! Powerful, quick, 
two-edged sword, meaning it cuts both ways. Both ways. Woo! Now, this is this is the thing. I mean, everyone says the soul and the spirit go together. Mm -hmm. uh, uh uh Not according this is, to the word. No, no. I think this our spirit is a is a vehicle. We got a physical vehicle, the body, and we got a spiritual vehicle. And 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 that spirit is what came from God, right? I mean, when when we He breathed into the essence of man, man became a living soul, and that's what He's trying to say. It, that that word cuts, that word don't play, you know. Uh, so, but it, it's so important though to enter to His rest. He's trying to say for us to enter to that rest, you know, and yeah. to hold fast to your confession. Or your profession, that's what he's saying. Your profession is your confession. <laughs> Hold on to it. So th th those, are, those are things that, like I said, and, I, and like I said, once again, with venture with them is, that's one of the things where you want to back out and chew and digest and, and dissect even more. But we're, 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 staying, we're going to stay at a little surface level. But it's, <laughs> it's something to look at because you're all accountable unto God. And the thing, I'm, I like the fact that 14, I'm saying is, there's an advocate right there. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. There, 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 there's a, that, that's who you choose while you on earth, because you're not gonna stay on earth. <laughs> you, you're gonna go into another reality. And what we have is an advocate. That's why we call it the good news. I, we have an advocate who has gone before us. I think in some of those scriptures talk about he's an intercessor, right? He's he's interceding for us daily. So look, he's interceding, he's interceding for you and me and anybody else is listening who will receive Christ. He's interceding for us even while he is in heaven. He ain't waiting for you to come to the sweet by and by to start praying and interceding for you. You you know where I'm coming from? Mm -hmm. He's interceding. He's interceding for you now. How much more do you think he's going to deceive when you step in that new reality? Come on. That, that's why we said we want a savior. And that's what we said by faith, people. Because some of the people I understand, if you don't live by faith, you don't walk by faith, that's a whole different story. But for me, by faith, I have an advocate that has gone before me into heaven, a great high priest, interceding on my, on Brother Addison, and on you, on your behalf. What are you saving? I say he's interceding and he's trying to get the equipment in there for you to, to uh, make it. Let's see the next one. But yeah, all these men, you can think about it. Last time we go on Sundays, I can see what bitches like, man, I want to chew it. You know, he, that's what he basically said. Let, let's, let's, ride, let's ride this thing. Let's work that thing. But the central theme is going to show more scripture basically pointing out where we're coming from. That makes sense? That that that's the whole point. We go through so many scriptures. Uh, you and say, but I'm gonna move to the next one. Unless you got something. I'm, I'm I'm stuck on four eleven. Let us labor. Uh huh. The the B portion of that. Lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Right. They didn't do. You know the thing is, if you did what he told them to do. You know what I mean? The the I gave he gave them rituals, right? Festivities. He gave them the sacrifice and blood sacrifice. He gave them the commandment. You know, it, it's it's not the labor of, of of working in the field. It's the labor of day to day, have faith and trust in Him and doing His will. So basically. we are to rest mm -hmm. in the redemptive work. Yes, sir. It's done. Because if we don't do that, we'll you fall can. into unbelief. They got to. Because yeah. there, there, there's, that's all there is. That's all there is, right. Because you can't fall into the law. Uh -uh. Because that will lead you into unbelief because with the law, you'd have to justify yourself. And and the fact that you keep falling, you keep yes. failing. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. You'd have to justify yourself. Mm -hmm. 
to be righteous based on your works. Yeah. Come because on now. You you can't fulfill. Mm -mm. So nope. if, if you rest in the law, then you'll fall after unbelief. Yeah. Yeah. Which is falling after self. Yeah. Yeah. And which if you do not rest in the redemptive work, mm -mm. then you'll be likened to the old wine. A new wine skin. Yeah, can't take it. it. You, you, you can't. You, you're, you, you'll fall into unbelief because he, exactly it, it, it will, the skin will cease to exist. Meaning, you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cease to exist. The the word is the word. So, uh -huh. um, that's why I say every day. That's what the Lord's prayer is for. And, Give and me understand. I hope that I'm not missing the point in that well i think that we said is they they labored they didn't they didn't do his will yeah so therefore they couldn't enter to his rest right they couldn't yeah. even go into the promised land you know the ones that couldn't go into the promised land uh they they said we grasshoppers we we, we can't go there he told us I, I got milk i got a land for you milk and honey these people brought you grapes, and they told they brought you the fruits of the, of the land, and and I I demonstrated my power bringing you here, right? I mean, even even let you walk on dry ground, people. Whether you believe or not, that's up to you. I don't care. We just talking about what the word says. He demonstrated. Does that make sense? What I'm coming from? If you came, look, you just saw an entire nation, one of the most powerful nations at that time. Be, won't be seen anymore because of what he did they didn't do anything did they they didn't pick up no sword they didn't pick up no spear they didn't do anything everything was done by him and for him you know what i mean yeah he he the plagues that was there he because you can, it's almost like it's almost like your child a, a little baby a two-year or a toddler, and the, the the you demonstrated your ability to protect them. Uh, I you said a recent video of uh, the I'm side trail, but it's what I'm trying to say. Point. There was a little girl. There was a video. I think it was on Facebook or said where a raccoon attacked the little girl on the porch, and, and and the mother came out and she grabbed that raccoon by the neck. Yeah. And and held that raccoon up and told the girl. The girl started holding on to the mother's leg. And said, "No, get in the house. Yeah. <laughs> get in the house." And, yeah, while, and that, I, while I handle this, <laughs> while I handle this, you get in the house. I, I'm trying to protect you. And that girl was help. You know, she was yelling for help. Yeah. And what help came. And and help dealt with it. And and and, and God is saying is I came to the children of the Hebrews and stuff like that. Just like you talk about your life when you look at your own testimony. Like, you you got a great testimony. We already know about that. But some people don't. But sometimes we'll use that as an example. God came. And so when they was told to go into the promised land, what they do? It's like, oh, no. No. It's some giants in the land. You got a cloud following you by day in a fire of cloud gives on light at night you, i mean he's showing his presence you, you you check him and say their five senses were stimulated by his presence yeah and needed but, to be because they they weren't connected by the spirit no no and, and and the thing is that they when they was they saw the giants in the land that's what i'm trying to say it's almost like if mike tyson was your back if you when you were back a little high school guy and and and, and mike tyson was your escort to 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 walk in classes is and be afraid is to say something's wrong with you yeah right yeah. michael you, phil <laughs> you're afraid because you didn't have an interpreter <laughs> yeah. exactly no it's <laughs> what he was saying <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, but he he 
he makes it clear. Yeah. You know, the word makes it clear. Mm-hmm. We, we, we are spiritual beings. Exactly. And, and the fact that we have a father in heaven. Yeah. And, and so on being such, then we have to look toward that. Yes, sir. That's what I think is it. Go ahead. Understand that that is where our source is. That's our source. No different than Christ. Yeah. Christ, in his ministry, mm -hmm. all, all he did was rely on the spiritual things that was given. Come on now. Come and on. He stood on that. Mm, mm, mm. Even to the point of allowing. Yes them to torture him mm -hmm. to the point of death yeah uh, to fulfill those things that were first spiritual come out and are now manifesting natural so exactly we have to understand that you know the the rest that we are supposed to rest in mm -hmm. is on spiritual Yes. Things, which is the word of God. Come on now. And, yeah. And without that, you know, you you'll 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 fall. Mm. I mean, that's what the scriptures were saying. Come on. Yeah. You'll, you'll fall into unbelief. Unbelief. And 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 not only that, this world mm. will suck you in. Yes. And pull yeah. you away. Yeah. If you do not keep your eyes on those things that are above. Which yes. Is those spiritual things. Mm. Those things that you, you've re renewed your mind with. Come on. <laughs> things that, that brought you closer to God. Those those spiritual revelations of of life as a ambassador yes. of heaven, you will fall by the wayside. You'll get yeah. out to this world and those things will become second nature to this world's nature. To this world nature, yeah. You know, this world's nature will just you'll 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 return back to your default. Yeah. That fallen nature, and, basically. And start living that fallen nature. Yeah. Now, in that, I don't know how that affects your connection with God. I, I have no idea. Well, I, 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 I will say that if, you know, uh, I got it in the scripture here, it was in Jeremiah, where he was talking about the fact that curse is a man that put his trust in man and make his, his, his flesh his strength. But the other key component at Jeremiah 17, 4 is whose heart has departed from the Lord. And I think if we look at it is, I think another good example was the prodigal son. See, the father was there. Yeah. You moved out of his grace. You moved out of his protection. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, well, well, I guess what I'm saying, and, and that's but a you great can come example. back. Yeah. That's a great, great example, because the love of the Father does not change. It does not change. No. And, and, and it's it's a perfect the the the, the story was a great example mm -hmm. of of man's relationship to God. Come on, it's and, and, perfect. It was. it was also a great relationship of those who are in the body to those mm -hmm. who fall away and come back. Right. Now, you know, the, the two sons. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, you have those that never left, how they look at those who come back. Yeah. Which is woo. Yeah. Man, that yeah. that is that is 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 a, a lesson that is often overlooked. Yeah, but, you know what? You know, the key one I want to go on that, just on right there, just to interrupt you on that. I know we look about how he looked at his, his brother, 
But I wanted to make sure you did you you at least make remind ourselves that how he looked at what he was, yeah, and what he had and what he possessed. He possessed it, brother. That's what I'm saying is he had a man told him everything I have is yours. Yeah. And yet you don't even recognize. And I told you that he did it. Didn't he divide it? He divided it. Yeah. And and that's I, I often let people understand that. The word says we <laughs> have been, meaning <laughs> it was already given to us. Yes. Everything. Come on. I don't know what doesn't come with everything mm. that pertains mm. to life and God. Godliness. Yes, sir. And yes, we're sir. Walking around <laughs> like the sun who never left, not knowing all that we have. Come on now. <laughs> and so we're not walking in the authority and the power in the, the, the fullness because we are not accessing it you want gail to 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 participate in it's open one second i i'm gonna i'll talk to the uh you you know somewhere else now <laughs> one second <sighs> I can still hear you, but I just got this. I'm checking to make sure you can get in this door. Somebody's outside the door. What's up? You want to come out? It's the clock? Oh, okay. I had to go around the room. Oh. I was trying to lock the thing and work it. <laughs> I got to get the Bible study. I got the Bible study going on at the same oh, time. Oh, oh, oh. Now, you, you're welcome to join us, you want? Uh, you go ahead, we... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back, brother Asa. Yeah, so it's 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 uh it's amazing in that sense, you know, that that God has already blessed us with these these great gifts. Oh, come on there. Everything. <laughs> yeah. Everything, everything for our existence. Yeah. Exactly. Given us. Hey. You know, and and the problem is without renewing your mind you won't know no it's no. like that son that was there he didn't renew his mind to understand that that was his ability that he was capable of enjoying the same things that was given to this son that left and was considered dead you know because he was not in the presence of, of his father um, but his, he was always on his father's mind, you know. Um, yeah. And his father's love did not cease. So. And, and the thing is, I want to add some more to it is, remember, like I said, you are healed, right? By his stripes, you are healed. You were healed. You yeah. are healed. In other words, we're, we're looking at the prodigal son, not the prodigal son, but the, the son that yeah. was never left did not recognize his authority yeah. his possessions <laughs> how many oh you see i'm not trying to pearl, 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 pearl at it with us now right what authority do you have what healing do we have what what and look I, i'm going to have it because he told me huh yeah. I, I I have a mansion in heaven because he says I have a mansion in heaven. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's it's all that's what when you so the one you was reading before talking about labor, let us labor. He said is the fact is that enter to his rest. Yeah. Because the redemption work has been done. Yeah. It has it has been completed. <laughs> you just up I can remember you said you like to say what the saying thing is. It's, past present and future yeah remember that and you felt real good about it right <laughs> and, and and so it's like it's done yeah. the, the the only piece that need to be worked on is the areas that i still got i need i need to remind myself to go to heaven for forgiveness because i keep doing some things that i need to 
Well, that's a portion of renewing your mind. Come on, bro. The more you renew your mind, the more you you have a repentive life. Come on now. Meaning that you turn <laughs> and go the opposite way. Yeah. Hey, of where you were going. And Come on. In order to stay in that opposite direction, you have to have your mind renewed. Come on. To the point of you operating by the word and not by thyself. Mm. Because Deep. when you operate by yourself, sooner or later, sooner or later, you're going to fall into unbelief. Come on. Which will have you re uh, uh, backsliding. Yeah. So uh, but you will be repenting of God's yeah. way. Yes. Yes. And you will repent back toward the ways of this world, which is what we start off saying about those people who have all these things, have been given all this information, and who is Come out. but then they they kind of put that on the back burner and allow this world mm -hmm. instead of keeping yeah, the influence of God before them. Yes. So they tend to because fall back into the default own. state of an unrighteous person, though you are righteous. Back you, you fall see. back to default again, you're talking you about. Yeah. You fall back into that position of that son who's eating the same stuff that he was feeding those pigs. Mm. Mm. Which is to say, you're back into that world and you're eating Careful. this world system and this world's ways and the deceit. And the backs, the, the the backstabbing, you know the, the everything that is opposite from the fruit of the spirit. Yeah, Start yeah. Walking in that. Come on now. <laughs> and that becomes your first nature. Yes. And then the the efforts you make to make the fruits of the spirit your first nature tend to fall away. They they that fruit dries up, you know, and that tree begins to wilt. Mm. So the life that, the life sustaining for others to feed off of is no longer there. That, that should have corrected itself, it didn't. It's, don't look, it did, it did. Yeah, it's 1036, yep, yep. I agree, and and I think that's that's I think those are things about reminding ourselves, right? And 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 recognize. That's why I think that labor they they you don't have to labor to enter to his rest. In the sense, oh. the fact is that he has given you rest. The labor was already done. It was already done. You know, and so we are to enter in. Come on now, to the it finished. Just, the finished work exactly is the exactly. redemptive work of christ yes sir we rest in that rest in it Which does not mean that we just don't exist in it uh, uh nope nope that we it, don't we don't leave and get into society society is that the finished work is when you're resting in it it's working this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.